Redmi Note 9 Pro or Note 9 S is the latest budget phone from Xiaomi. It has latest Snapdragon 720G processor, a large display and a huge 5000 mAh battery. But is it worth buying because of its display? Come on, let's find out the answer to this question in this video. So first of all, let's talk about the display of Redmi Note 9 Pro or Note 9S. <laughs> the device have a 6.67 inch IPS LCD display with 2400 into 1200 pixel resolution. The pixel density of the phone is around 300 ppi and it has a 60 hertz refresh rate. The display looks decent but Nothing great compared to similar budget offerings from Samsung like M30s, M21 and M31. But this display is definitely better than that of Realme devices. And now here is the problem. The display have serious issues. It might be due to the quality of LCD or the design but if closely observed Display bleed can be seen along the top and bottom edges of the phone along with that around the camera notch on the screen. The display is having a slightly blotched ink-like appearance, a darkish appearance along its edges and along the camera notch and this can be clearly seen in case of light or colored backgrounds and is mostly visible if the screen is having a white background. The sad reality is that this problem exists for all Redmi Note 9 Pro or Note 9S devices. There are no fixes for this. Further, from my own observations, I found out that most of the other phones, including that from Realme, in this same price segment have similar problems. They don't have that sharp displays along the edges, maybe because these companies are forced to cut their prices to fit it within the budget. The only exception is the Samsung devices, but we can't compare gold and silver here as Samsung devices of the same features are many times more expensive when compared with Redmi or Realme devices. The important thing is that once you find these black, bleeding black spots, then it certainly fits annoying to see it again. Like, you are purchasing a brand new phone and its display looks like crap around the edges. Now here comes the million dollar question. Is the Redmi Note 9 Pro or Note 9S worth purchasing? Yeah, it's definitely worth purchasing as you won't get a Snapdragon 720 chip, 6.67 inches of display and a 5000 mAh battery device with decent camera performance and sleek looks in this price range. The display bleeding can be compensated with the battery backup which easily lasts for more than 10 hours, screen on time and a good camera with loads of features. I think it's a great budget phone if the display issue is not considered. So it's time for you to make a decision and choose it or stay away from this phone. Now if you got any information from this video, please go through my channel where you will get a lot of information on a lot of good stuff that might help you out. You can thank me by pressing the like button and by subscribing to my channel. Thanks for your support. Bye till next video.